Welcome to AccountX 2016. Over the next two days, around 5,000 accountants are expected in East London to see the wares of around 170 information providers and software developers. Now I'm John Stockdyke, Global Editor of Accounting Web, and when I come to an event like this, I like to see what's new, things that have never seen the light of day before. Now with the advent of cloud accounting tools, that's a little bit different because they change in the background every day or two. That doesn't matter because I've found a couple of things that should be of interest to you. And another thing I'm going to be looking for is we've had bookkeeping tools coming out of the woodwork for years. But what are the tools in the cloud for practitioners? The thing I want to find out is who's winning the race to the practice cloud. And maybe the answer is in the hall. So come and join me and see what we can find out. So Mark Woolley from Reckon UK. It's day one at AccountX, but I'm looking for news. Can you give me any to chew on? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, it's exciting times for us. We're launching Reckon One in the UK here today at AccountX, so it's really exciting for us. Okay, the next stop on our new product quest at AccountX brings us to TaxCalc, where I've got Steve Checkley, one of the directors. Steve, I've heard talk of something called Cloud Connect. What is it, and is this your big new launch at the show? Uh, yeah, you're, you're right. Cloud Connect is our big new launch at the show. And um, what is it? Well, it's a service. It takes your client data, puts it up in the cloud. You're still using the same desktop software that our customers know and love, but because we are moving data only between the software and the, and the database up in the cloud, you get really, really good performance. So I'm continuing my quest for the practice cloud. It's a little bit elusive at Softworld, but I've come to KPM where Tushir Patel is here. Tushir, are you able to give me the practice cloud? Well, we're certainly trying, that's for sure. We've got quite a comprehensive um, build of products now compared to what we had last year. We've completely fine-tuned everything as well in the process, so um, we're here to try and assist the practice world. Take me through what the concept of KPM is. So it's got it's comprised of actually right now of six main products. That's bookkeeping, payroll, um, accounts production, corporation tax, and we've got a self-assessment module which incorporates uh, uh, um, individuals, so SA 100s, all the way through to partnerships and trusts as well. And the final piece of that, bringing it all together, is the uh, practice management module as well. Um, they're all integrated, so the information feeds directly through from, let's say, payroll to bookkeeping, bookkeeping to accounts production, then to your final set of uh, corporation tax returns, and then as well as to your um, self-assessment returns as well in the process. Okay, n now that you're kind of beginning to fill out the full set of suites, so you seem to be the first one on the block <laughs> with the full pack, what's the take-up like amongst the profession? Last year was um, more of people testing the water to see exactly if there was something, a beast as, uh, as you put it yourself, John, um, out there in the market. And now people are actually coming around to the idea that actually there does seem to be something there. Um, we know that we've still got a hell of a lot of work to do, but as a practice, running their business, it does do the work now. Um, and it sees it all the way from start to finish. Do you think you can give me a very quick view of what it does? So as you can see here, we've got six main products on, uh, on the screen right now, and that ranges from bookkeeping, payroll, accounts production, all the way through. So up here, we can actually flick between our clients, choose which ones we're actually working on currently, and then actually go directly into the uh, specific module that we're actually working on. Once we're in the module itself, we can actually flick between the clients up here if we're working on their bookkeeping, or alternatively, we can actually flick between the specific modules that we want to move on to. So we can go to accounts production, we can go on to, once we've actually created the abbreviated set of accounts, which are IXBRL tagged as well automatically, we can go into corporation tax, file uh, CT600 directly through to HMRC, and the same for self-assessments as well in the process. Here at the Accounting Web Stand, we're very pleased to welcome Jennifer Warawa, the Vice President at SAGE. Jennifer, it's day one. I come to these events looking for big, hot, exciting news announcements. Has SAGE got anything for us? Absolutely. We've got a number of announcements that we're making live from AccountX today. Um, we launched SAGE Expenses, which is an expense app, money in, money out, really simple, uh, built on iOS platform. So, and that's just, you know, people that want to do simple accounting, perfect app. 
Now we're launching Sage One Partner Edition, which is really meant for accounting firms and partners that want to onboard, you know, a hundred customers at a time onto Sage One, which is great. A request we've been getting. And then uh, one of my favorites is we're launching Sage Live for accountants. And so with Sage Live, which is our cloud accounting solution built on the Salesforce app cloud, we've been getting a lot of requests from accountants. They want that those features and functionality, but they also want some of what they are asking for in practice management. So jobs, tasks, enhanced workflow, and that's what we're delivering with Sage Live for accountants. So those are three of our exciting announcements coming from Accountex. That's pretty good. Now, accounting web members, I've been watching, you know, it's been around a little bit longer, the, the Sage Live suite. How's that coming along? Because I'm, I'm looking for the first company that's going to get to the streets with a full practice suite, you know, all the compliance tools. How close are we? So we are very close. So as you know, we have final accounts online, we have our corporation tax, and although we're not, we're not making any announcements here, you can go over and take a look at our personal tax online, which we're going to be launching later this summer in the August time frame. So uh, we're very close to having the whole suite, and um, you should come by and take a look. I think you'll be really impressed. Okay, will do. So Sage may surprise some of us by being actually being the first to market with a full suite of practice tools. I've talked to some of the other vendors, including Thomson Reuters and Iris. They're at different stages of development, but they're all in the, the chasing pack. I've also heard that Walters Kluwer have got something up their sleeve, so let's go to their stand and see maybe what they if they can actually announce or tell us anything today. So Claire Carter from Walters Kluwer, it's day one at Accountex and I'm looking for new product announcements and exciting news. What have you got for us? So, I've got some exciting things for you to, today, John, but I can't say anything until tomorrow morning. So I've been all around the big vendor stands. They're, they've disappointed me, really. They're, the tools aren't there yet. You know, maybe one or two little players like KPM have got cloud tools, but now that I've reached the, my firm's app stand, the thought struck me, am I looking in the right place? Dan Richards, what's your take on the practice cloud? Yeah, I think it's a great question, but actually there's been a real shift over the last two or three years um, around how people are engaging content. So those organizations, the Intuits, the Exacts, the Sages, the Zeros, great organizations, all of them and many more besides. But for a firm where they have chosen them, they've often found that they've got two or three different providers and actually it's becoming a little bit messy how they pull that stuff together. And there's more that they need than just the cloud accounting, of course. And so having it in the app environment now serves the clients so much better. Uh, one of the statistics that is very helpful is around 90% of the time on a smartphone or a tablet is spent using apps where 10% is on the web environment. And so for a firm to get their own in all their own styling and branding and so on makes a gr much greater engagement for the client and also brings all their other online systems together into the one place. So it's a much simpler life for them and they get all the mileage and the receipts and the calculators and other practice tools that they want all within that one single app. Now do you think when we come back next year think we'll be closer to the mobile practice cloud. Yeah, you know, I really do think it will. And one of the big people who are driving that conversation at the moment, poorly, some might say, um, is HMRC. And with the whole making tax digital and the, the quarterly reporting, uh, there's a very confused picture flowing out from them at the moment. And we are in weekly conversation with them. And actually, if a client, a normal business client or even a large firm, is going to be able to stand a chance of complying with that, it's going to be how they get data easily, quickly and accurately through their devices that are in their pocket all the time. Otherwise, there's no way they can get it to their accountant and ultimately into the digital tax account environment in a way that's going to be useful or in a way that's going to be timely. So yes, there's the app can already deliver those things now. The piece of the puzzle really is HMRC finishing off their stuff and then of course that we can join those dots together for the firm. So it's the end of day one. Thanks for joining me on this product hunt. As I said at the start, it's harder to uncover uh, interesting and new launches. We found a few, but the one thing that's eluded me, it's like Shangri-La just over the horizon, is the practice cloud. We heard from my firm's app though that, that things are going to change quite quickly in the next year because the government is going to accelerate take up. If they're going to require small businesses to use online accounting tools, then practitioners are going to have to follow and they're going to need the tools to manage that. So I think by next year, this hunt will be over. Meanwhile, if you're coming to see these products for yourself at Accountex, make sure to come by the accounting web stand and say hi.